as every other month, we're starting this month with some new apps as well. And this right here is actually not new, this is Safari, but we have a new extension here that is actually pretty cool. So you install the app and all you have to do then is go ahead and enable it from here. And you will find it then right here, it's called Archive Page. Now what it allows you to do from any website where you're surfing, you can go to the Archive Page simply by tapping on it and it will take you to that section and you will see how cool that is. So what we can do here is actually go ahead and take a look at previous versions of this web page. So you go ahead and tap on search right there and it will show you in this case we have the Apple web page. You can see what we have right here. So the oldest one will be from October 22nd, 1996. So as easy as that, you can tap on it and view the website as it was on that time. And you will see right here, if we go, we have 508 more so from different dates. And you can go ahead and take a look at different dates of this certain website. So you can do that pretty much for any website that you visit. Simply head on to the extension from the menu and you can visit a website, basically go back in time at any certain point you want. Next up is PopFrame. This app will allow you to place your screenshots, photos, and even videos into an iPhone frame. So all you have to do is just choose one of the templates right here and load the picture from your camera roll or the video. And once you have done that, you will have here a few options that will let you basically customize. You can see right here, we have that shadow, which we can, we can customize. If you tap on here, you can change the color of the device which is really cool and if you tap here you can choose the background there so you can choose a transparent background or any color you want or you can even add a photo from your camera roll as the background of the device once you're done you of course tap that share button and go ahead and save it under your camera roll from here the next app is temporary email and this one is pretty useful. So how many times did you have to register somewhere, maybe sign up or sign in on a website with your email, but then you will of course get spammed with a lot of different emails from that website or whatever that is, whatever service that is. Well, you can now do that using this app and it will generate random emails for you right here. Now what you can do is simply tab right here to actually take a look at the email and copy it from here. And then you will have the inbox for that email here. So you can basically see all the emails that you get right there within this app. You can also change this to another email as easy as that. You can just generate random emails anytime you need to. Next up is AI Enhancer. Now this app will allow you to enhance your photos. You can colorize your photos and also de-scratch your photos all of that directly from here. So all you gotta do is basically go ahead and load any picture that you want from your camera roll. So basically you just choose here what you need to do, whether you wanna colorize or enhance a photo. So let's just try to colorize here a black and white photo. So there we have the photo, tap on the next button. Of course, you can crop it here if you want to, and then just wait here for the process to finish. In a few seconds, you should have your photo, which will be fixed and colorized, and of course, it will look much, much better. So let's just wait here for this process to finish. And as you can see right here, we actually have an amazing result. So you can see the after and the before here. So you can see how good that looks. Now we can also go ahead and enhance it from here. So you will still get those options even after you have colorized the photos, whether you want to de-scratch it or enhance it. And of course it will look even better now that it's colorized and also enhanced at the same time. So let's just wait for this again. And here we have the final result. Now the photo actually look much, much better. It's colorized and enhanced at the same time with this AI app, which is amazing. The next app for the video is called Pickroll. Now with Pickroll, you will be able to stitch screenshots together. So anytime you take screenshots, maybe of a conversation or something like that, you can just load them up on this app and it will stitch them for you. You can also split images and you have here the web snapshot, which will allow you to take a screenshot of a web page and save it as a picture, not as a PDF, which is what you do with the stock feature of iOS. So let's just pick a couple of photos here. As you can see right here, we have the photos and you can see two screenshots of the settings app. And as you can see, it will actually adjust them the right way and also stitch them together. Now, if we unlock this, you can see there 
So you can see this overlay right there, but the app did automatically fix this so we don't have to. So once you're done with that, of course, you can just go ahead and save it as a one picture on your camera roll. The next app for the video is called Surf. Now, this is an app that you can use as an extension for Safari, but it also offers home screen widgets and lock screen widgets as well. So you can basically add your favorite websites and links right here. And of course, it will keep track of the history. You can find your favorites here. You can launch your favorite website directly here from the home screen using the widgets, or you can see how many websites you have served today, or you can just go ahead and search directly from here. And you can do the same, of course, from the lock screen as well. Now, if you go to a website, all you have to do here is tap the AA button, and you will have the surf button right there, and you can go ahead and favorite this, and of course, save it under the app. AI apps are pretty much everywhere you look now. Everything has to do with AI nowadays and you will basically find a ton of AI apps on the App Store and IntelliChat is one of them. You can see how cool this is. So you will have here a lot of different categories with things that you can do with this app. So let's say creating a tweet or talking about advertisement or an email, write a paragraph there. You can see right here we have maybe a lyrics, a poem or anything you basically need. You can see we have all kinds of different categories right here, like maybe learning a language or anything you need. So let's just go with something here. Let's try diet plan. So let's just go ahead and ask this. So we have this as a suggestion right here. Of course, we can type anything we want here and ask the app to do for us. And just like that, you can see in a couple of seconds here, you will get a response with actually a proper answer to anything you need. And as you can see right here, we'll have basically a response with everything in details written, and you can go ahead and copy it, or you can listen it with a voice directly from the app. Now here we have another similar one. This one is called Super Chat. And what you will have here is three different like characters. So you will have the chat GPT right there. You will have a writing assistant and you will have the travel agent right there as well. So you can tap on one of them and basically just ask anything you want here. So with the writing assistant, we can basically ask it to write an essay, for example. So once you ask a question here, just give it a few seconds and of course you will get a proper response. So of course the app will work there in the background and based on what you're requiring, it will basically take like a few seconds to maybe a minute or so, but you will actually get a proper response to everything you need. So let's just wait for this essay right here and there we go. Here we have the full essay written as it should be. Quotaholic is the next app for the video. Now this is a simple app that will display different quotes from different categories that you can choose within the app right here, but it also has some really cool home screen widgets where you can display different like quotes for you and of course have them read daily here on the home screen. This is a simple app again, but I love the way they have implemented these home screen widgets and it also offers lock screen widgets as well, which makes the app even better. Up next is Coin Checker. Now this one is really interesting. It allows us to take a picture or load a photo of a coin that you might have that you maybe don't recognize and it will find that for you and of course show you details regarding that coin. So let's just load a picture here and then we have the picture loaded. Now let's wait for the result and there we go. Here we have the result right there and we'll show you all the details you need to know regarding that coin. In this case, it's actually very, very accurate. You will find here everything you need and of course you can even go ahead and save these to your collection. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more if you did. Of course, don't forget to smash that like button and I will see you on the next one.